What's up, YouTube? It's Chicago. Thank you for joining me today. If you are here, you are probably looking for help with editing your TikTok uh, Call of Duty specifically, or I guess any other type of gaming videos, but um, I specifically do Call of Duty videos on my TikTok, but help with editing your TikTok videos with Filmora 9. I think it might even go by Filmora 10 now. I, I, don't, I don't stand a loop on that stuff. Either way, thank you for joining me here. I'm going to try to make this a, a quick, simple video for possibly first-time users. Maybe you're new to TikTok. Maybe you're new to editing your first, um, you know, your, your first actual clip. Like, it, bear with me, but I don't, I don't necessarily consider, like, I know there's some phone programs, and I've talked to other creators, and they're like, oh, yeah, I just do this and that on the phone. And I don't necessarily know if that's the same thing because I've never done that as what Filmora 9 can help you out with. But once again, this is really simple. We're going to keep this kind of quick. And for those of you that don't necessarily like um, long edits, Filmora 9, I think it's like $40. I know it, there's a free, um, you can download it for free and then uh, I think upgrade it to $40 because if you try to export the video, it will have like a, a watermark or something all over the screen. So I don't know, necessarily know if you want to do that route. But either way, it's uh, well worth it, $40. I've grown my TikTok from, what was that, like literally zero to uh, 1100 in about six weeks, six or seven weeks. And obviously, you know, we all can't be funny like me, but either way, like editing our videos and having a lot of fun with them, I think is really the core here. So I'm done messing with y'all. Let's get into the videos. Okay. So I'm in Filmora 9, 10, whatever. We're in just Filmora. Like I said, uh, the first thing I like to do is make a title and start uh, getting like save patterns. So I've already made a title. This is called drop on Lodi. Uh, so just do that because sometimes like my program has crashed before me. Luckily, it does auto save, so I didn't lose anything. But either way, we're going to get started here. So for your project, you want to make sure if you're doing TikTok, 916 portrait, that'll be that phone mode. So it's nice and clean and um, you get the best picture and you don't have to worry about, uh, I don't know if you've seen some other clips from, uh, uh, you know, depending on who you watch, but sometimes the clips are really, really small because they haven't formatted uh, the clip correctly or properly for TikTok. So just do yourself, uh, 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 do yourself a, a favor and do this 916 portrait here. And then let's find the clip we wanna use. So I have a bunch of clips here downloaded already. And mine is called, I don't care about this boy. So we're going to go ahead and get this. And you'll notice I have a few video um, tracks down here. Now, I think you start with one. Um, you can just simply right click on one and do add video track. That's how I've got additional ones here. Off here on the left. Make sure you guys can see that. Because you will need probably additional video track. Uh, you will not probably. Definitely need additional video tracks um, if you want to uh, add um, different parts of the video. Uh, it'll probably make sense in a moment. So watch this. So first we're going to select one here, track one. I have our video clip. So make sure you've imported your video click, your video clip. And then we have the plus here. So we're going to hit the plus. You always want to keep project settings because obviously whatever you recorded at or took the clip from, it's going to have its own, uh, you know, settings. So we want to keep project settings so that it doesn't change our project to match whatever the recording of the video was originally. I hope that makes sense. Because <laughs> once again, we're, we want to take something we've already recorded and properly format it for TikTok, not take, you know, the other way around and probably format it in the way we already recorded it. So nevertheless, we have our clip here. If you notice this red, this is like a, a cut tool. And this is, all, this is also... Um, symboling or symbolizing where the the end of your track is so we know right here we're just under 20 seconds for our entire TikTok, which is good because most TikToks are are best when they're shorter uh though you can go up to a, a minute i believe either way we want to make sure this tool is at the beginning of the track of the entire video again because right now we only have this small unformatted kind of video well it's formatted because it does it definitely fits the parameters we're looking for but obviously we want to make it a little bit wider so what we want to do is first thing select this second track here track here and then we're going to import the clip again because one clip is going to be used for our face so we can capture expressions and you know whatever else happens in the video and the second portion is going to be used strictly you know for the gameplay 
So we'll come over to the second video. I'm going to drag this cursor over again. And we'll notice there's two audios. You know, the audios essentially are double because we have the same clip. So let's go ahead, make that one quiet. So you just bring this little hand tool over here and you drag it down like I did on this one. Drag it down to make it muted. Or you can right click on the track and you can just mute that way. I prefer to just drag now. Nevertheless, we have two tracks on top of each other here. So we want to right click on this track, crop and zoom to get our facial reactions. So depending on how you, how big you want the video, or I'm sorry, the video, depending on how large you want your face. So I like to zoom in a little, not a lot, a lot, but a little bit um, more zoomed in than you can probably see now like on YouTube. So we'll do okay. And now we have the video. So, or we have our video rather. So we can simply just drag this to the top. Cause once again, this is like having our, our phone screen. I personally prefer to shrink my face a bit so it's not so large on everyone's cell phone device and have it about right, maybe right here. Then this first clip is here and now we can simply just drag on the edge because we want to get rid of that face that we already have at the top now. We don't really need that a second time at the bottom. That's going to look kind of kind of bad if we have both. So we'll go maybe like this. I think this might look good. Drag it down a little bit, maybe this up a little bit. Okay, so now we're, you, you can probably tell we're starting to get, you know, the basis of our video here. What would be good is that little uh, crisp blur effect that a lot of popular creators use and I use in all of my videos, like I love it. So we go up to this track three, we're gonna go to effects and if you notice, mine's already under favorite, but you would just go to included and then I think it's under what filters. Yeah, filters blur. I'm going to use this basic blur here and bring this into our track here. And as long as it's on this little third track here, that's another thing. Like, um, think of the tracks kind of as uh, sort of as layers where the top one would be uh, like on top of the other uh, two layers, if that makes sense. And since it's a blur effect, it's going to take the colors and just fill in this background here for us. We have our face, we have our video, and now things are starting to come together. Yeah, so we can play. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to load out. Let's see what this looks. About this Excuse way. any language. I'm going to kill him again. He saw me drop. So he's, he's getting like shot do. at. So it looks like. What I okay. say, Chad? What I say? What I say? Come here. Some, okay, and then he goes into the into the finisher here so as you can see uh, this already is probably enough for a basic TikTok, like just basic and then you know add a description maybe you know a title or something like that along those lines uh typically what i do is i'll come up come up here to another video track highlight it titles and then from titles that's where I think we'd have to dedicate a whole nother video to because I took a lot of time just playing around with different fonts, uh, different animations, different um, uh, sizes. It, it, it gets crazy when it comes to font. But me personally, what I would do, I come to track four. I have one that I just call new because I, you know, I started with all these different fonts and stuff. But either way, this is how I kind of keep track of it. And I'll press plus to insert that in the timeline. Then I can double click here. You want to double click on this text and then you can just, you know, fill in whatever you want. And the thing is, once you get um, really familiar and comfortable with your fonts and the type of fonts you want to use and maybe the animations of the fonts, as you start to get familiar with that, your videos in the future, I guess, will become um, a lot quicker. Because what, what happened to me is, let's just see. So I'll hit OK here. Let's say I need to insert more text. I have all of these preset, um, saved font ideas. So this is teammate speak. So if you watch a lot of my videos and I want to insert uh, teammate talking, I'll hit that. Maybe we'll just let me change this timeline so you guys can see it. And then you see like this would signify teammate speak. Now, of course, there's different things you can do with that. You know, maybe we rotate it, you know, maybe we make it larger, change the color. Tons of different things that um, we're not going to cover in this video. But just to give you guys some basics, 
I would probably, after here, after we have some text in here, and once again, you know, you just want to make sure your text lines up with the, you know, the speech and everything like that. But uh, to make this a simple video or a short video, I don't want to go too far in depth with that. The last thing I would do is probably add some sort of music. And that's going to be up to you guys. So a lot of times I spent maybe an hour or so just finding different music, um, songs that weren't copy or music background music that wasn't copyrighted just to use in the background of my tracks to kind of help tell a story and if there's any profanity in my clips i found sound effects too like maybe i, I um if you watch my tiktoks i like to use the duck sound the quack quack uh, so right off the bat uh i hope that helps you the last few things we would do with this let's say we're done with the video you'd want to come up here guys we're going to export Export gives you the settings you want to do mp4 you will name the video. We'll just do tester here Settings you want to make sure the quality is best and down here at frame rate 29.97 Okay, and you'll hit Okay here and last I'm not going to do this on the video, but lastly you hit export In fact, I can delete the video. Why not? Oh, you hit export it's going to show the video rendering. It'll play a little sound when it's done. It shows you the time, and that's pretty much it. Then you go check for this uh, video in your uh, actual video folder or, like, if you saw in settings, wherever you uh, choose to have your destination for the uh, video is. And last few steps, store it on Google Drive. Take your phone, download it from Google Drive, upload it to TikTok, or if you use TikTok on uh, the mobile uh, or the desktop app, then use it that way. I hope that answers all your questions. If I missed anything, throw it down in the comment section. Come check me out on TikTok. Check me out on Twitch. Live every day except Wednesdays. I really hope this helped you. And go make some banging videos. All right? I'm out. Peace.